the second fire in Invercargill in three days. Around seven yesterday morning, fire officers were called out to a blaze at an abandoned takeaway shop in South Invercargill. They're treating the fire as suspicious and are currently investigating how it started. Hi, I'm Ruby Spink in Invercargill. The city's been shaken by fire over the last two months, with one fatality, people needing treatment for smoke inhalation, and many houses and buildings being destroyed or damaged by fire. But Invercargill fire officers say the recent cases don't seem to be related. While it's um, disappointing that we've got these going on, um, they're not linked, which is the which are good things at this stage. Mr Subs says there's been a range of causes for the fires, including electrical faults, cooking, and one person's been caught for a deliberate fire in the city. Normally more fires occur in winter than in spring or summer. Area manager Stubbs says he doesn't know what's causing the increase. Um, the majority of Southlanders uh, you know, are, are fire safe and uh, you know, do put it in the, in the front of their mind um, in terms of uh, putting smoke alarms in their houses or calling us to assist them with that. He says the fire service is using this recent spate to educate the community on how easily fires can start and grow. Officers are out in force spreading the safety messages to residents. We've uh, talked to some neighbours, we've uh, dropped some pamphlets off, um, we've knocked on a few doors, uh, just to make sure that um, you know, the, the messaging and uh, you know, people, it is in, their, is in their, their community, is in their street, and just what they can do to learn from this. Area Manager Stubbs says he's hoping Invercargill residents realise how crucial it is to keep looking when you're cooking and to remain vigilant against the threat of fire. Ruby Spink, The South Today.